who are you? Episode 11 We're at the crime scene. Police refuses to share details for now. We only know that there are several victims. There are dead. There is no data about the attacker. The names of the victims are also withheld. We'll watch the development of the events and inform you on the details in the nearest news reports. Got it? Thank you. What's up, Misha? Hi. Did you come long ago? No. Where are the others? The kid is already here, and Spak somewhere is on the way. I can't reach Inga. Well, it's night already. She could have turned the phone off. She could. She is capable of anything. And why are you so upset? Is it that bad? You betcha. I haven't seen a mess like this for a long time. It looks like a slaughterhouse. Really? Yes. Let's go and have a look. Let's go. And right now we'll tell you. Lyosha, thanks a lot for letting me in so late. I don't have other options, and I want to swim badly. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Our doors are always open for you. Goodbye. Goodbye. By the way, check your phones. Check your phones, by the way. They were ringing while you were swimming. Maybe something happened. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Bad cop. Eight missed calls. Right here. Are you serious? Right here. Where are the bodies? The gore? Ha. Huh. Why are you so happy? Okay. Misha, my mom and me plan to go to the Philharmonic. And there's the call. Get it? Everything fell into place. I get it. Sasha, what do you got? For victims. Two dead, two are at the hospital. The attacker. He fled. Walked away, to be precise. What do you mean, walked away, Sasha? He started a massacre at a well-guarded property and just walked away. Is this Rambo, first blood or something? One of the victims is a mall cop. And Major, sir, the attacker left with a gun. Yes. I was at the pool. Oh, I got it. 
Of course. I know where it is. I'm on my way. Where are you going so late, Inga? Did something happen? It's not your parents, I hope. No, it's not my parents. But something did happen. Some job you have. It's not for a girl. I bet you're going to see some nightmares instead of going on a date. I didn't expect to meet you here this night. Nobody expected that, Jasha. What do you have here? Well, two knife wounds, carotid artery, chest. Both were mortal. I think he died almost instantly. I didn't examine the other one, but as a rough guess, knife wounds similar to the first victim. Are you from the directorate? Yes. Our higher UPS will arrive soon. This is the deputy of local homicides chief. Major Artemenko? Mm -hmm. Yup. Listen, Major, you know him right. Well, new. I studied at the academy with him, Misha. Well, the circle of suspects is widening fast. He had many ill-wishers. I'm telling you, calm down. Calm? I'm calm. Then why are you messing with him? Why? Why did you bring him here at all? Don't you understand? No, I don't. Will you please calm down? I am calm. Who is that, anyway? Two with knife wounds, and two with just W's. This is what we have. I see. Hello? The experts are on their way. Hello? Hello? Subject used cold weapons twice. He switched to a firearm after that. Very weird. Nothing weird. He just took a gun from a cop that he killed. Something's out of order, yeah? Yes. Something is really out of order, Major. Sir, by the way, Captain Spock is getting into it with somebody from the local precinct. Smells like a fight. Misha, work with the witnesses. Sasha, the cameras are on you. Begin the examination. How many knife wounds were there? Five. I'll write it down. Five. I'll see how calm you will be when your boss will get whacked. I'll look for the murderer when my boss will get whacked, instead of pressing the local goobers. Got it? Fine. What do we have here? Nothing. The captain here has already cracked the case, found the murderer, hot on the trail. Who is he? Kalia Demidov, a local junkie. Moonlight is a petty dealer. Artemenko locked up his elder brother, Pasha, for selling drugs. He kept sending messages from the court and the prison saying he wanted to take revenge on Artemenko. Why is he pressing on you now? Or he was at the crime scene? He was. He was loitering by the cashier desks of the supermarket. And his brother was got out recently. And just as he got out, Artemenko almost got run over by a car. Is the car intact? Sergi, interrogate him. Come on. Move it. Hello, Night Owls. What do you need? What do I need? Aren't you at the firm? I can work fine at my lair too. What do you need? Did you hear about the incident? Of course. The internet is buzzing about it. Anyway, bring up all the cases of late Major Artemenko. Dig only into the most serious clients. The ones that he sent away for a long time. Check out the ones that were released recently and are in the city right now. Did you get me? Who do you think you're talking to, Major? I've already checked it out. Oh, damn it. What's that? Did you step on a cat? I'm making coffee. It's a common thing. People with genius brains usually have sloppy hands. Don't get upset. Though, later. Bye.
Nothing new so far, Andri. Yes, we've put out an APB right away. The patrols from the whole city are there. Nothing so far. Have you identified the attacker? Not yet. He's most likely a junkie. According to the witnesses, he behaved inadequately. What about the cameras? Can you see him there? We are going through them now. We will clean the recording and give it to the press without unnecessary details. Yes. The press media doesn't need excessive details. He's armed and very dangerous. Those are the details. Is everybody there? Yeah. Inga and the lieutenant are going through the video. Andri, I have a call from the morgue. I'll keep you posted. Deal. Keep working. Well? Say, what a nice job you found for Inga. Oh. What about our brothers, the Demitivs? Nothing. The elder brother started partying as soon as he got out. He still does. Where? We are finding that out at the moment. I asked Spider to check it out. Here is what I think, Major. They didn't plan any serious revenge. I think those were just empty talks and boating. We'll see. What else? The junior had a good look at the murderer. He was going out, and Demitev was loitering in the hall at the time. He says that he saw him in the neighborhood many times. Did he tell you where he saw him? He'll tell us in the morning. He talked about some place, a shed. I didn't understand him well. He says that he even knows where he lives. He is almost sure. One or Demitov skipped town by morning. No, I put a patrol near his place. They will bring him to us in the morning. That's great. Are you going to the morgue? Yes, I'll go with you. Maybe Dasha will help me wake up. Let's go. Dasha, what a look. I can't recognize you without a dead body. I'm so not in the mood for your witty humor. I was just joking. Why are you both so dressed up? Did you have a date, Sergi? Dasha, did you call about the identification of Artemenko? Did they arrive? They didn't arrive. They were brought in by the head of the local precinct. I understand that it's the boss of the deceased. I was asked to go out and not bother them with my presence. What kind of important and vulnerable bird is in there? Hello, Major. Please meet Lisa, Artemenko's sister. She identified him. We know each other. Of course, we do. Oliga and I were married. We married right after graduation from the academy. Didn't my brother tell you? Eight fifty. The subject comes in. Artemenko is already there. But the subject went right to the cashier desk. He didn't see Artemenko behind the shelves. You see, he is moving. In a weird way, he has some kind of a nervous tick, a sign of an unstable mental state. What did he ask the pharmacist for? For diazepam. It's a strong neuroleptic. Why didn't she sell it to him? She said the prescription was out of date for over a month. The dosage was big. I see. Did she remember the surname of the patient or the doctor? Just a stamp of some clinic. And the surnames were simple. The time is 8.53. Yes, 
it went down very fast, less than a minute. It's a rare case when a cold-blooded gaze confirmed the testimony of the witnesses. A cold-blooded gaze? In the law enforcement bodies of the states, the evidence recorded on video is called the cold-blooded gaze. Often, they don't align with the testimony of the witnesses. You see, people are subjective. They often make mistakes, forget or at something, or they lie, and the cameras don't. In our case, the testimonies aligned. So what? How are we doing? Did you give the photo of the attacker to the journalists? We did. And what is going on in general? Do we have something to report to the brass? We may skip the version of Artemenko's premeditated murder. Arguments? From the recording, it's evident that the murderer didn't see Artemenko until he jumped at him to disarm him. I suppose the criminal can be a drug addict. He behaved like a junkie during a withdrawal. A junkie during a withdrawal wouldn't try to sell the neuroleptic prescription to a pharmacist. The recording shows that he's got some kind of a tick. I think it's late dyskinesia. It develops if you take psychotropic drugs year after year. It's clear that our murderer is a psychopath. It doesn't prevent him from being a drug addict. Our subject didn't have a weapon. He came to the pharmacy to buy drugs with a prescription. Then, when the lady refused to sell it, he got very upset and fed a bunch of people. Maybe somebody scared him. I studied the recording too. And defense is not a behavior of a murderer. You're wrong, Oleg. Our subject came to the pharmacy being already irritated, and the longshoreman provoked his aggression. The longshoreman provoked him. With what? A paper knife? Bad enough for four victims. Maybe not only with a knife. Maybe that longshoreman reminded him of somebody. Or it was the situation in general. It's evident that our subject had a nervous breakdown. We may assume that he's former military. Then, he might suffer from a post-traumatic disorder. I don't no. In any case, the main thing now is to find out the cause of our subject's unexpected stress behavior. The main thing now is to make a break for a couple of hours. We won't find anything new until morning, and maybe he'll get caught during that time. We'll be very lucky then. Sasha, can I take the drive? I want to study the material in more details. It seems to me that we missed something. Yes, of course. You're not mistaken. I'm not mistaken. It's Ilian, I'm sure. He has been coming to us for a long time. I have been working here for two years and he's been coming here all the time. Aliona has been here for only a couple of months. Looks like she didn't see him yet. Fine. Does he come here often? Once a month. The prescriptions are usually issued once per month. I remember him well. Because he's the only one who comes to us for serious drugs like those. If he used to come every month, then why your rookie didn't see him before? Right, you know, I met him on the street one of these days. By accident. He didn't look well. He was pale, as if he was sick. I thought that he didn't come to us for a long time. And today, Aliona said that his prescription was out of date. How did he usually behave when coming to the pharmacy to buy the drugs? Maybe he was nervous. Was he arguing with anybody? On the contrary, he was always very quiet, a bit removed. I could never imagine that he's capable of such a thing. Fine. I'll write it down. Have a seat. Well, tell me, why were you waiting for me? This is where you're dug in. Brother told me you were promoted. I wasn't surprised. You always was married to your job. Like your brother, right? Yes. You didn't talk with him for a long time. He didn't start a family. He was always too busy, and now it's too late. Was he telling anything weird to you recently? Was somebody threatening him? As far as I know, a car almost ran him over a couple of days ago. If he was scared of everybody whom he had sent to prison over the years, he'd have to live in a bunker. No, he didn't say anything like that and behaved as usual. What was he doing in that pharmacy? He lived in another neighborhood. 
and it's far from his job. Yes, Oleg, you remember it, right? He stayed in our parents' apartment when they emigrated abroad. He went to that pharmacy because of me. I live in that neighborhood. I got an apartment there after the divorce. The second one. I didn't feel well, my throat was sore, and I had a running nose. You know how susceptible I am to viruses. I asked Fitty to go to the pharmacy and buy me herbal tea, something antiviral. Oh, like, so it means if I hadn't sent him there, he could still be, is it my fault? Did I kill him? Lisa, don't start, please. I killed him, Oleg. Stop it. Stop it. It's enough, enough. Quiet, quiet. <gasps> oh, Inga. Are you going to your office? Yes. Let's have some coffee. Captain, what coffee? Major told us to get a couple of hours of sleep. Yeah. But don't come there for about five minutes anyway. Major is consoling a lady there. She is all in tears, very upset. What the hell are you talking about? What lady? Sister of late Major Artemenko. Fine, let him console her. I only need to take my bag. Maybe you. Sis don't know but sister of Major Artemenko is our Major's ex-wife. It's a real soap opera over here. It's all right. Thank you for your concern. Yeah, Major is in trouble now. I beg your pardon, I only have to take my bag. Sorry. Um, this is Lisa Artemenko, sister of late Major Artemenko. Please accept my sympathies. Are you the new consultant of the directorate? Yeah. From the FBI. Come on, Oleg. You introduced me, but didn't introduce your colleague. I'm Miss Inga Stefan, our off counsel. Yes, nice to meet you. I have to go. Miss Stefan. Why the formalities? Just Inga, right? Yeah. Oleg and I have known each other for so long. We definitely need to talk later. I've heard so much about you. Some other time. Will you give me a lift home? Miss, I am cancelling the order. No, you listen to me. You said five minutes, half an hour ago. No, cancel it. That's it? What a day. What happened? Can you imagine? It's the third card they are sending. One is broken. One got lost. I'm speechless. What did you find? Maybe I'm calling to ask the brass to let me go and have some sleep. Misha, come on, talk to me. Well, I interrogated the local staff. You know about the pharmacist. I'm about the ones from the grocery store. Girl, the cashier, and the guard identified our subject. Do they know who he is? No, they don't, but they say he lives somewhere close by. He has been coming by regularly, at least since summer. The guard said that once, he came to the store in his slippers. The home slippers, rubber ones, you know. Maybe. He is a local hobo or a junkie. No. Both say that the guy was quiet and polite. He didn't look like a junkie. Judging from his clothes, he was poor, but clean, tidy. He didn't smell. 
Maybe he's a drunk. It doesn't look like it. The cashier says she doesn't remember him ever buying booze. Even beer. Only food, and not a lot of it. Fine, good job, Misha. Thank you. Have some rest. Yeah. I will. Oleg, come on. Couldn't you call on the way? Nothing changes. Looks like you were the luckiest today. I had time to swim at the pool, at least. And it looks like your evening was spoilt. Not only mine. Have you ever seen the Major in a tie? Nope. Exactly. He was entertaining his mother today. He came to the crime scene straight from the Philharmonic, left in the middle of the concert. From the Philharmonic. That's unexpected. No, it's normal. Oh, I think you don't know. His mother is a music teacher. In his youth, Mischenko graduated from the musical school. He played piano. I heard that his mother wanted him to enroll into the musical academy. But when his father died, Oleg decided to enroll into the Academy of the Internal Affairs. What happened to his father? He was killed. He was a detective and a very good one at that. Pavlo, our driver, you know him. He worked with him and told us about it. Was the killer found? No. By the way, you were right. Today, I tried to go on a date. However, it wasn't too romantic. It's all right. It's not the last time. By the way, did you see Mischinko's ex? How do you like her? I don't care. We don't have to baptize children together. That's right. I think she's a real bitch. It seemed to me that Lisa wasn't against baptizing somebody with Mischenko. Is that it? Thanks for seeing me off. It's unpleasant to walk here alone at night. Okay, bye. I have to go. Wait. Will you catch the killer? Lisa, of course we'll catch him. What kind of question is that? The entire city's police is looking for him. Come on, go home and try to go to get some sleep. I really need to go. Won't you come in? Not for long. I can't stay on my own right now. You're not right after all, Major, sir. Defense, contact, blow. Contact, blow. The same thing every time. What did you remember? There definitely was a hospital. We need to check that. Oh lord, of course. I completely forgot about that. Poor Lisa is under supervision over there. Well, I won't bother you. Come on, pick it up. Answer the phone, come on. Yes. Oh, Herr Major. What? One second, well... I've checked Artemenko's collars. 
and I want to upset you. There is nothing of interest there. What do you mean? Nothing at all? Well, a lot of people were threatening to break his skull, but in essence, those were all empty talks. The ones that were threatening him are locked up and keeping silent. The ones who got out are doing fine, but out of more or less serious people, only one got out recently. What's his face? Demitov. The one our cap was interested in. Where is he now? His brother said he was at the resort somewhere. Yes. He rented a nice place. Goes to restaurants, saunas and so on. Are you sure? Of course I am. You bet I'm sure, I've checked everything. That dude has already withdrawn half a million from his credit cards. Okay, I see, later. Tell me, the rest tomorrow. Bye, good night. Wait, Major, why weren't you picking up for so long? Pasha, I was busy. I am busy sometimes. Bye. With whom? With your ex or something, that's it. Bye. Right? As if it was a royal mystery. It's all right. I'll check everything myself now. You need to get married, Pavlik. Everything would be fine if you didn't need to take a leak. Take a walk. Go piss. Good morning. I take it you didn't sleep well. Good morning. Yes, I didn't sleep well. Is it very noticeable? Is there something with my makeup or my hairdo? I'll fix it. Everything's fine. And I see that you're quite happy. After the eventful night, yeah. Yes, everything's fine. Go to the boys right away. We have something to talk about. Girl, come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. So what? Do we have new victims? You're so optimistic early in the morning, Inga. Do we need to have them? That would be bad news. I rewatched the recordings from the CCTV cameras. Looks like he didn't snap for nothing. The longshoreman reminded him of somebody. Our subject vented off all his negative energy at him. By the way, he is still wired and he has a gun. I'm surprised that he still hasn't surfaced somewhere being in the state. Do we have any good ones? The APB didn't yield any results. There is not a single report about our subject showing up somewhere, and one of the wounded died at the hospital. Did the late Major Sister tell you anything of interest? No. Let's go to work. Yes, we do need to work while the Major is solving his personal issues. Okay, I'm going to Spider. I have an idea. I want to check all the patients registered at the local clinic. The subject clearly has been ill for a long time. I understand the thing with the clinic. I can't understand another thing. What is going on in general? There's tension in the air. Yeah, like before a storm, right? I'd say it this way. Our major was excessively sympathetic to the sister of late major who is also his ex-wife. And Inga believes that our major must spend more time with his colleagues. See, they brought in my goober. Maybe now he'll tell us where our psycho lives. Anyway, bye. What a woman. Jesus Christ, born in 82, Kyiv, Philological Faculty, Herr Major, husband number one. Wow, there was a third one already. Girl got a good exit package. Oh. Hi, Inga. I was working here. Everything's fine. I understand. 
You care about Major's moral appearance, but you are relaxing yourself after the workday. It's all right. Are you ready to work? For you, anytime. Great. I need to check the Solomayansky district's local clinics. Okay, what are we looking for? Prescriptions of diazepam monthly over the last two years and the alternation of diazepam with these drugs. Are you serious? It's not work, I'll find it in three clicks. That's great. It's really important for me. No problem, miss. You may watch me checking it. It will only take a couple of minutes. Yes, I beg your pardon, somebody's calling. Where are you? I met spiders on an urgent matter. What is it? Wait for me. I'm on my way. Okay. Yeah. What happened? Why do you say so? I just wanted to find out how you're doing. Maybe you have some news. Yeah. Hello, princess. Lisa, nothing changed since our last conversation that was just one hour ago. No news. Stop it. What do you mean? Stop it. Why are you talking to me like this? Lisa, in case you forgot, I'm looking for your brother's killer. Therefore, stop interfering with my work. I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to interfere. I'm just, I'm just a bit out of it. Talk with your aunt. You asked me to drive you to her at night. Yes. Thanks a lot. You, you understand everything? I'm just worried about you. That's psycho kill Victor. And now something may happen to you. It's the job in case that you forgot. Oleg. I didn't forget anything. You can't even imagine how I felt when you left. I don't even want to imagine that. Lisa, it was so long ago. Let's not plunge into memories, especially bad ones. That's it. Later. I have to work. I have visitors. Oleg, I'm worried about you. Be careful. Don't worry. God be with you in the cold storage. I told you, Inga, it won't take much time. I'll give you everything now. What's that? Oh, the master of unexpected appearances is here. I'm preparing Inga's special order. Why are you so angry? Are you angry that Inga came to me directly instead of reporting to you? Yeah, Pasha, don't talk nonsense. Where is she? She doesn't report to me. She went out somewhere. Did you lose her or something? Had a rough night with your ex. I'll put you on a naughty chair someday. Come on. Anyway, look, and you shall find. What? You didn't sleep at all, did you, princess? Why are you asking me if you know everything already? You're so feisty after a sleepless night. I'll remember that. At least, you don't know something about me. Don't get cheeky, princess. You need to listen to me very closely now. And obey me. Oh, this is something new. Obey you, right. What instructions are you going to give me this time? You don't have to work on the pharmacy murder. Great. Did I understand you right? You're asking me to stop doing my job. I'm not asking you. I prohibit you from working on this case. Fine. Explain why. Because it's very dangerous. That subject is a psycho in a reactive state. I don't want you to get hurt. You're warning me about danger. You're warning me about a psycho. You're a psycho yourself. Got it. Demidov, is it here? 
It's the fifth yard already. I'm getting sick and tired. Here, I often see that guy here. I just don't know whether he lives here or just comes to get high. Is he a junkie? Were you dealing to him? Couldn't you say so at night? Was it hard? No. What? No. I didn't deal to anybody. I offered him some stuff once, but he refused. However, he's using something. For sure, I can see that. Of course, you can. Use yourself and help others. Watch him so he doesn't take off. Captain, we need to call for backup. He's violent and dangerous. Listen, Lieutenant. Do you remember Inga mentioning the mental clinic? And? Tonight, it was broken into. Do you think it was our guy? Any victims? There were none. The guard was out for some reason. What a lucky bastard. In any case, we need to go there and check it out. I think it was him. So come on. One moment. Yeah, yes. Stop and then, I got it. On my way. Start without me. Are you avoiding me? What do you mean? Literally. You said you'd be at Pavlix. I asked you to wait for me. I came, and you weren't there. Something happened. Sorry, I had to wait for you, but I had to make an urgent call. To whom? Don't you think that calls can be personal? You of all people must understand that. Did I insult you in any way? You didn't insult me. I'm the one who needs to apologize for barging into your office. So richly, without a knock, at night. And then I continued calling you for some time. I see. What do you see? That our relations moved to another level. It smells of jealousy. Does it? Yeah. I think that. Lack of sleep influences your brain activity. Are you serious? I am. I don't give a damn about your personal life. At all. Lisa Arminko is not connected with my personal life for a long time. Let's go and see what Pasha has found. Did you warn him or something? No. Ivan Ilyan, 39. Well, colleagues, it's ready. Inga, am I awesome? You are. What do you have there? Come on. Reporting. Ivan Ilyan, 39. Suffers from a severe paranoidal disorder. Has been registered since 16. Went to a loony bin for a couple of times. In recent years, he was receiving treatment at home. He was given all there is. He tried almost everything on your list. Anyway, two months ago, they stopped prescribing medicines to him. There it is. Two months ago, they stopped prescribing him these medicines and it led to a breakdown. But why was he off the pills? Can we check whether Ilian's doctor changed? You know your stuff, Inga. Indeed, he got a new doctor three months ago. He has the same surname as the singer. There it is. Leschenko? Yuri Leschenko. 
The previous doctor, Volodymyr Spyakov, who had been treating Ilyan for over 10 years, retired. We need that clinic, quick. Pasho, please check that Leshchenko and Spyakov, just in case. It's as easy as one, two, three, and for you as one, two. Where did you bring us, you bastard? Where is that piece of shit? Ha! Huh? Did you warn him? Get back. Fine, fine. Chief, can I stand up? Captain, what are you doing? Chief, calm down. 